Interesting psychological facts about women, body, and human psychology that will blow your mind. Disclaimer. This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All content provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes only. According to research conducted by Tobias Kohler, MD, an assistant professor of urology at Southern Illinois University School of Medicine, regular erections are necessary to keep the male genitalia in shape. Erections maintain the elasticity and health of this tissue, and men can experience shortening of their genital without regular erections. In his research, Kohler explains that the brain has an automatic genital maintenance function built in, which triggers erections during the dreaming phase of sleep. However, men who cannot achieve erections due to nerve trauma or other medical conditions face the risk of penile shortening if they do not have regular erections. Kohler further explains that to maintain a healthy tone, the smooth muscle of the male genitalia must be periodically enriched with oxygen through the rush of blood that engorges it and causes it to become erect. An analysis of over a thousand measurements by sexual researcher Alfred Kinsey shows that shorter flaccid members tend to gain about twice as much length as longer flaccid ones. A member that doesn't show a significant increase in length when erect is often called a shower, while one that noticeably increases in size is known as a grower. Kinsey's data indicate that most members do not exhibit extreme shower or grower characteristics. Approximately 12% of members increase by a third or less of their flaccid length when erect, while around 7% double in length during erection. In a study involving 80 men, researchers observed varying increases in length from flaccid to erect states, ranging from less than a quarter inch to up to 3.5 inches. While the clinical implications of these findings remain uncertain, they hold significant social relevance, particularly in contexts like locker rooms. According to a 2020 review of research, the average length of an erect member ranges between 5.1 and 5.5 inches, with the average likely closer to 5.1 inches. Flaccid members, on average, measure around 3.61 inches in length. In terms of circumference, the average erect member measures approximately 4.59 inches, while a flaccid member averages about 3.67 inches in circumference. In a 2009 study in the British Journal of Urology International, researchers asked 81 men to rate the erotic sensitivity of various body areas, including the member, scrotum, anus, nipples, and neck. They found that most men rated the underside of the glands and the underside of the shaft as the most sensitive to sexual pleasure. The upper side of the glands, sides of the member, upper side of the shaft, and foreskin for uncircumcised men followed closely in sensitivity ratings. Studies suggest that as men age, their member gradually loses sensitivity, though the extent varies. Sensitivity is often measured by the minimal stimulation needed for sensation, known as the sensory threshold. It generally starts declining around age 25, with a more pronounced drop between ages 65 and 75. However, whether men typically notice this decline remains uncertain. According to Tobias Kohler, patients rarely report noticing it, considering it a rare complaint. Challenges with erections and achieving ejaculation are more commonly observed issues. Vibrators, traditionally associated with women, are equally effective on the male genitalia. They're so potent that men with spinal cord injuries often use medical vibrators to facilitate ejaculation. These devices are typically applied to the underside of the glands. According to Tobias Kohler, most men don't require medical vibrators to achieve orgasm. For those experiencing delayed ejaculation or orgasm difficulties, Kohler recommends trying a commercially available vibrating personal massager. While vibrators frequently aid men with ejaculation issues, they're not exclusively for medical use. You can use them purely for pleasure. In 1954, a man's ejaculation measured 15 milliliters of fluid, a volume significantly higher than the average amount typically released by men, which is around 3.2 milliliters. This observation underscores the considerable variation in ejaculatory volumes among individuals. 
a 40-year-old man holds the record for the most orgasms without losing an erection. He achieved six orgasms with full ejaculations within 36 minutes while alone in a room watching adult videos and magazines. He filled six out of the eight cups provided to him. He attributes his ability to no special technique, but rather being naturally talented in this regard. According to research findings, approximately 95% of women prefer frequent intimacy with their loved ones, while men tend to seek variety in their sexual experiences. The record for the farthest ejaculation is held by Horst Schultz, who ejaculated 18.7 feet or 5.71 meters. An unnamed female holds the record for a female ejaculation at 9.8 feet or 3 meters. Most injuries from intimate toys that lead to emergency room visits are minor. However, there have been cases where injuries resulted in more severe outcomes such as erectile dysfunction, loss of genital skin, and urethrocutaneous fistula, a permanent hole in the reproductive organ or even amputation. Approximately 90% of women prefer a wider male genitalia over a longer one, emphasizing that girth may be more crucial for sexual satisfaction than length alone. While 85% of women express satisfaction with their partner's genital size, only 55% of men are similarly content with their own size. This disparity underscores the differing perspectives between genders regarding what constitutes an ideal or satisfactory genital size in intimate relationships. The U.S. ranks 18th globally in terms of average erect human male genital length measuring approximately 5.1 inches. North and South Korea are at the bottom of the list with an average length of 3.8 inches, while the Republic of Congo leads with an average of 7.1 inches. These statistics highlight notable variations in genital size among different regions worldwide. According to research men who face challenges in achieving erections due to nerve or blood vessel damage, options like a vacuum pump can help stimulate blood flow and maintain penile health. Regular erections are crucial as they prevent penile tissue from becoming less elastic and shrinking, which can lead to a loss of 1 to 2 centimeters in length. According to Men's Health, regular sexual activity can reduce the risk of heart disease by 30%, stroke by 50%, and diabetes by 40%. These benefits are attributed to the physiological effects of sexual activity, such as improved circulation, reduced stress levels, and enhanced overall well-being. Men report engaging in frequent masturbation, averaging about 12 times per month in addition to sexual intercourse. Masturbation is considered a natural and healthy way for individuals to explore their sexuality and release sexual tension. Both sexual intercourse and masturbation contribute to sexual satisfaction and offer distinct health benefits for men. The man holding the record for the most ejaculations in one day is a porn actor. During a 24-hour period while recording a test tape for a future video, he achieved 11 ejaculations. This remarkable feat highlights the physiological capabilities of the male reproductive system under specific circumstances. A condition known as coro, or phallic panic, is a form of mass hysteria where men believe their genitals are disappearing. This phenomenon is more prevalent in regions of Africa and the Far East. According to studies, the skin of the male genitalia hosts at least 42 types of bacteria. Circumcised genital typically contain fewer bacteria, which has been associated with a lower risk of contracting HIV and other diseases. Following your heart often involves making decisions that can cause pain to others. When you pursue your true desires, it may occasionally lead to hurting those around you. Despite this, it's crucial for your personal happiness and growth to stay true to yourself and your aspirations. Adversity serves as a catalyst for reaching our greatest achievements. When we confront challenges head-on, it motivates us to strive for our highest accomplishments. Overcoming obstacles can ultimately propel us toward achieving our most significant successes. If you found this video informative, please take a moment to share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below.
If you have made it this far, comment below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics like this, also make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Until next time, stay safe and awesome. Thanks for watching.